Can you pretty please upload my polls for tomorrow's webinar? Sure, Sarah. How about we have Michelle from the events team join us and give us some advice while we're at it? Sounds good. Michelle, do you have a few minutes to help us with these polls? Sure, guys. Let me take a look at the first poll you wish to launch. Here it is. Why do you use webinar technologies? A, for online training, B, for professional development, or C, for marketing and lead generation? I think that poll is great, Sarah. You've really thought about your audience. It is a great poll, but I think we can make this experience better for all online attendees with a few simple tips. Please do, Michelle. We're new to this. Firstly, what if your online attendees have other reasons why they use webinars? What will you do then? Maybe we can get them to let us know. I'd really like to know as much as I can. Great idea, Sarah. Always ask your online attendees to elaborate on their responses or add anything additional by using the chat box feature located in the bottom left corner of your screen. This will allow you to gain so much more insight into your audience and will enhance the discussion. Well, what about the length of a poll? We have opened them in the past and once we wait for people to complete it, it gets a little awkward. How do we know when to close it? Popcorn? I can smell popcorn. Who is making popcorn? Exactly, Sarah. When in doubt, think popcorn. The virtual presenter says that open polls should be treated the same as microwave popcorn. When you make popcorn, you pull it out when the frequency of popping gets down to a certain point, right? Yeah, otherwise it will burn. Of course. It's the same in a webinar. How do you know if an attendee ran off to the restroom or took an emergency phone call? Watch the pace of responses coming in, wait until the popping slows down, and then get on with it. That makes so much sense. And the best thing, it's also easy to do and can make such a difference. Thanks, Michelle. This is sure to make a world of difference to our event. No worries at all, guys. Take a look at this week's Redback Talk blog for my four golden rules of polling. Enjoy! More at Redback Talk! Until next time!